is the Redmi Note 3 and as you guys know this is a almost 3 years plus old device. Right now in 2019 it is running a custom ROM based on Android 10 which also has customizations. Hey what's up guys this is Tito back with another video. Let's start it from here. Let me show you the about section quickly and this is the extended ROM as you can see it shows the extended logo up top and it says custom ROM redefined and of course it has the like potential to do it in the android version section of course it shows the android 10 thing and you can just like hold it like this and you can rotate it a little bit and as you can see with this it just plays this kind of thing and we have android 10 running here this is a really great custom rom based on android 10 if you want to try android 10 on your redmi note 3 this is the right time to do it well, the security patch here is latest November 5th, 2019 and the stock kernel here is the Eskrima kernel. In the system section, we have the developer options. Of course, there is no like any system updater or something and the gestures has been moved into the customization section, which is present in this extension in the settings and on like top, you will find this extension in the settings panel. By the way, let me show you the stock launcher here. Not a lot fancy but it does not have a lot of customizations of course but it has usability you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the notification panel and the stock camera here is like a snapdragon camera pretty basic camera but you can install gcam if you want to if you want to use gcam you can click on this card right here and i would say everything seems pretty smooth here in this rom considering this is a like really old device now in the extension section you will find all the customizations again and in the buttons we have the like enable backlight and stuff then single tap double tap etc options for the like capacity buttons present here well back then we did not used to have the like on screen buttons here in decor room we have the ambient display option if you want to enable it you can do that and ambient display does work here we have the animations the whole ui animation is present here and in the battery style settings we have the quick settings battery style changing option like you can enable or disable it from here like this as you can see and with the like status bar battery style you can choose it to be dotted circle circle or icon portrait all of them like working fine and we have this status bar battery style here again we have it enabled of course and the battery percentage when charging showing option is there now let me go back in the clock settings you can customize the clock however you want there is also option to like lowercase or uppercase changing option to like dates and you can even change the colors of it if you want to so a lot of options no issues whatsoever in the clock settings and we also can change the like font of this clock so that is a really good thing as you can see if you look closely you will see the clock font has been changed now in the carrier label settings well you can change the fonts and stuff and colors of the carrier label icon now let me go back into the gestures we have the aosp gestures and over here we have the system navigation gesture and stuff and of course it works but i cannot like find the back kind of thing i don't know why it's not working for me but i have tried it the back gesture simply does not work from here but the swipe up thing is working fine even when i have disabled the like capacitive buttons and we also have the swipe to take screenshot so three finger swipe to take screenshot is working fine we have the like screen of power button torch let me show you quickly if i tap and hold the power button as you can see torch has turned on and i can even turn it off now let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed here it's not like too fast but it is quite usable as you can see sometimes it just like doesn't work sometimes it does work the only bummer i would say here is if you have a good x fingerprint scanner it may not work i have a fpc fingerprint scanner and it does work and there is also a bug like known bug that you cannot record 4k videos and stuff so as this is like early android 10 rom i would take it 
and we have the lock screen and status bar double tap to sleep here as you can see it works fine so this is how the lock screen looks like we have the time up here then the date and you can change the fonts and stuff if you want to and of course the lock screen wallpaper is this like by default extended the custom rom and let me unlock you just saw the animation so looks pretty cool in the lock screen section we have all the like lock screen ui stuff you can change the fonts and stuff of that like lock screen thing from here and we have bunch of options you can increase or decrease the sizes and we have the lock screen colors and stuff lot of options here no issues whatsoever we have the owners like info font even so lot of options regarding these lock screen stuff then we have the lock screen charging info and one interesting thing here is we do have this like always unlock with the fingerprint scanner you do not have to enter pin or password even after you reboot the phone so that is a really good thing which is not present even in like custom roms based on android 10 for even redmi k20 pro and the note 7 pro which i have tested like most of the roms does not have this feature on the redmi note 7 pro or note 5 pro or even the k20 pro now let me go into the like navigation bar section we have this like navigation bar it shows enabled let me just disable it right now so right now as you can see i have like disabled and enabled the nav bar and now this like whole screen full screen gestures is working fine so the navigation gesture of android 10 is working fine even the back gesture and stuff is working fine now after disabling and enabling this like nav bar option so that is really great that this is working and in the notification section we have the heads up you can disable it from here let me go back we have the like dialer heads up then we have the notification light and the battery charging light and this redmi note 3 has a multicolored like notification led so that is a great option i would say then we have the ambient display brightness then ambient notification brightness we also have in call vibrations and volte should be working fine here i do not have a sim card in it yet but volte should be working i think now in the power menu we have the like advanced reboot and stuff here so that is really cool let me show you the power menu quickly so this is how the power menu appears and you can click on the advanced reboot and you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot and even system ui you can reboot it now let me show you the quick settings panel we have the column and row number customizations vibrate on toggle touch system info then brightness icon and stuff so a lot of customizations nothing has been compromised here in the status bar section we have the status bar items you can enable or disable headset bluetooth etc icons from here then we have the volte icon option and network traffic indicator is there then you can have this 4g icon instead of lte and also there is this brightness control gesture so you can just swipe on the status bar to increase or decrease the brightness so that is a really good thing to the system settings we have the wake lock blocker and stuff then sensor lock per package so a lot of security options here pocket detection is there in the system settings now we have the extras like option we can disable the wake up on charge there is also the charging animation like of the pixels so that is really great and we have the vibrate on plug and stuff you can disable it if you want to you can change the screenshot type if you want to so that is good let me go back that was like all the customizations here for this rom and in the battery settings we have it like this and let me show you the full battery settings as you can see the battery life i would say it's it's like not great for me at least because i did not change the actual hardware of the battery but it should be pretty good it can definitely give you about three and a half to four hours of screen on time pretty easily now let me go into the display settings we have the night light option and then we have the styles and wallpapers you can customly change any fonts and stuff and a lot of customization should be there so that is good we also have this lock screen display here so that is good and we have the auto rotate option you can have the 180 degree 270 degree etc options so a lot of stuff double tap to wake is there let me show you if it actually works so yeah it does work now let me scroll down if you want the accent colors and stuff you can have it like from the bottom as you can see we have bunch of accent colors you can choose it to be default cyan pink teal red black etc so a lot of accent color options are there the dark theme well it should be working fine and yeah as you can see the dark theme is working fine even on the quick settings panel and stuff it applied so that is good that the dark theme is working and we have the headline and body fonts option if you want to change the whole rom fonts and there is also icon shape and stuff so that is good 
let me go back quickly and in the sound settings let me show you if you scroll down there is no me audio direct or something but there is this like touch sounds touch vibration etc disabling options now let me talk about the flashing procedure a little bit more well if you are not on like a latest orange fox recovery i'll definitely recommend you to flash orange fox recovery well if you ask me how to do that it is really simple if you have a twr recovery already on your redmi note 3 you can just like flash the orange fox zip file with the twr recovery and it should be fine but if you do not have twr recovery if you want to like clean flash the orange fox recovery here is a card for you well that video is on the redmi k20 pro but the procedure will be simply the same for the redmi note 3 too so a lot of things are like pretty similar while flashing and i would say you can flash orange fox recovery like that and after you have flashed orange fox recovery the like things are pretty simplistic so while flashing you just have to keep like some things in mind that you are on the latest firmware and once you have confirmed that you just need to flash the rom file and the gapp file itself well this is the 12th november 2019 build as you can see and this file is about 550 mb and the gapps is about 100 mb i will like recommend you guys to flash this bit gapps which has the setup wizard which says sw in it so do flash like this gapps over here i won't quite recommend you guys flashing with the uh, like open gapps beta and stuff just like go to your twr recovery let's guess if you are in uh, like android 9 rom just wipe cache dalvik system data as you do usually then just like install and like install the rom file gfs file and reboot it is that simple you don't have to do anything else so that was it guys a quick video about this like android 10 rom on this redmi note 3 the day-to-day -day performance here is like really really smooth as you can see here it's like almost like buttery smooth i do not see any any kind of glitches here and there are also a lot of quick toggles you can like add from here we have the heads up disabling option and stuff so those are there we have even the screen record option and wi-fi and stuff is working fine but i would say i have found a little bit of bug here well after like being idle for almost a day this rom gave me quite a hassle like to like unlock the device even the fingerprint scanner was not simply like responding and even if i enter my pin the lock screen was getting stuck so what i did is like i just rebooted to recovery and I just wiped cache and Dalvik and then rebooted then the ROM has been working fine again. Do I recommend you flashing this ROM? Well definitely yes. If you are into trying Android 10 ROM on your Redmi Note 3, this is the best option to go with. And talking about the IR Blaster here, well I would say I have tested it with this LED RGB remote app. Even that RGB you are seeing behind my desk is turned on by this LED RGB remote app. So that is a great thing that the IO Blaster is working fine even on an Android 10 based ROM for the Redmi Note 3. Well on startup it does show this kind of like error but it is normal. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KD and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.